Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also going to have to update the hash ribbon indicator and of course we're going to have a look into Ethereum because guess what? We have a new all-time high and at the end also we're going to have a look into the DXY and Nasdaq. So we're going to start straight here in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin. And as I told you also in yesterday's video with this three hour buy signal that we got here with this candle down here at $55,000, I was expecting to see a breather up here towards our potential new resistance currently at around $57,000. And this is also what we got. And uh, after that, now we are testing this potential new resistance. I think that the move could be almost over here and we most likely gonna start here to trade sideways or maybe even roll over again to the downside. Since for now we are confirming this green trend line, this previous support as a new resistance and currently it's lining up here at $58,000. So based here in the three and four hour time frame, it looks like that we still have some room left to the upside. But if we are not able here in the next coming hours to close here four hour candles above $58,000. So again, above this important green trend line, then I'm afraid that we could here easily roll over and continue our downtrend here towards this 50k target that we have after this uh, breakout from this uh, rising wedge. So this breather that we are seeing right now, of course, is a good sign that the bulls are here and that we have the chance to potentially go back into this rising wedge and then push higher. But if here we are not able to close those four hour candles back again, $58,000, then I think here most likely we're just going to go sideways or maybe even lower here in these next coming hours and days. We are in theory back in an uptrend since we're closing again for our candles above the EMA ribbons and also above all the important moving averages like here the 20 moving average right here at the top of the EMA ribbons. But as I told you guys, if here we're getting heavily rejected, I'm expecting here the play out of this rising wedge and that could take Bitcoin again towards 50k and latest here then I'm expecting a big bounce to the upside. So here in the lower time frames, it looks like that we have now this new resistance here at $58,000. If we are able to push higher than this resistance, then the chances are very high that also here for Bitcoin, we could see follow through to the upside and even maybe break out through this potential resistance that we still have here at 61K. This is still the top of the Keltner channels, as you can see here, as soon as we are breaking here to the upside, then I think we are out of the woods and we can expect also for Bitcoin new all time highs. But until then, I think we just are going to go sideways or maybe lower here for Bitcoin. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that yesterday we closed also above the EMA ribbons and also above the 20 daily moving average, which of course is a very bullish sign. And if today we can close above $57,000 or even better above $58,000, then here we could get a nice buy signal in the daily time frame and the correction might be already over. But as long as we are not getting here a confirmed buy signal in the daily time frame, I still remain bearish that we most likely are going sideways here or lower towards the 50k target because we are in a very critical point. We are right at the 50 level with the RSI, money flow is still negative and we are right at the EMA ribbons here. So if here we would fail to push higher and maybe even start to create daily closes below the EMA ribbons and below the 20 daily moving average here at $55,500, then I think it's very likely that we're also gonna lose this current support here of the 100 daily moving average at 53K and we're most likely gonna have here a retest of this 50K area, potentially create here a double bottom formation as I told you all in many videos already and then head also here for Bitcoin towards new all-time highs because we're still looking extremely bullish here for Bitcoin and I think we're still far away from a cycle top and I still expect big explosive moves to the upside especially once the hash ribbons indicator is flashing again to buy so we're gonna have to update this indicator right now because as you can see we are still in this miners capitulation phase so once here we are getting a buy signal. So once those dots here are flashing blue, 
then I think Bitcoin is ready to make another big move to the upside and I think latest then we should be buying as much Bitcoin as possible and of course also look for nice long opportunities over on Bybit or Femex and keep in mind if you want to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum up to 100x leverage so even with a small amount of money you can do huge gains here then sign up to those exchanges with my refer links down below here because you will get some additional bonus if you sign up with my links so based on the hash ribbons indicator we always had the perfect buy opportunity once we had these blue buy signals and as you can see we are still in this miners capitulation phase and as long as we are in this capitulation phase i think that bitcoin can still go sideways or lower until we're getting here a buy signal and then bitcoin will be ready to push higher and create new all-time highs because as long as we are in this phase i don't think that we gonna have big explosive moves to the upside here for Bitcoin and since the Bitcoin dominance is still falling we are approaching this 43% level the show is definitely over at the altcoins especially on Ethereum so as long as in Bitcoin we are in this miners capitulation phase and the Bitcoin dominance is still falling and it's not finding a bottom here I expect some altcoins especially Ethereum to push harder to the upside and Bitcoin just to go sideways or lower. But once here we're getting a buy signal and we also bottom out here with this free fall in the Bitcoin dominance, I think the show will be back on Bitcoin and Bitcoin will outperform all of those altcoins that are popping right now. So the show will come back to Bitcoin in my opinion, it's just a matter of time, but as long as we are not out of the woods for Bitcoin, I think the show of course is over in the altcoins, especially on Ethereum. And that's why we're gonna have a look now into the Ethereum price action, because as you can see, we are creating again new all-time highs, congratulations to every Ethereum hodler and also every Ethereum miner. Currently, Ethereum is creating new all-time highs. This morning, we touched this $4,400. And as I also told you yesterday, my friends, I still expect Ethereum to push higher here towards the next potential huge resistance area here of around four thousand six hundred fifty dollars and here maybe we're gonna start to consolidate then or have a bigger correction back down to important supports before we had higher so here i'm expecting some volatility to come back but if here we are able to push higher above this red trend line here which is coming from previous tops that we had here in the past then I think we're gonna have big explosive moves to the upside and potentially reach my target of around 8k here for Ethereum. So here in the lower time frames, everything is still looking extremely bullish. We have right now a bearish divergence. As you can see in the RSI, we have a lower high and in the price action, we have a higher high. That's why I'm expecting latest here at $4,650 if we are able to reach this price target to have a potential little pullback down to important supports like here the 20 or 9 daily moving average. So between $3,770 and here the 20 daily moving average at $3,200. So once we are reaching this price target up here, I think there could be a nice pullback in play here down to those important moving averages, maybe even in the worst case down towards the bottom of the EMA ribbons which currently is at two thousand seven hundred dollars and that would be quite a move if we would get rejected here at four thousand six hundred fifty dollars and we would crash all the way down towards two thousand seven hundred dollars that would be a huge pullback but even then we will still remain very bullish here for ethereum because even though we could fall down to those levels we would be still in an uptrend here in the daily time frame and that's why as long as we are moving within this rising channel here i'm expect ethereum to continue to push higher and create new all-time highs especially as long as the bitcoin dominance is falling and if we are able to push higher than this resistance trend line here so if we are able to start close four hour and daily candles above four thousand six hundred fifty dollars i still think that we could reach my target of around eight thousand six hundred dollars per ethereum before maybe we're gonna start to consolidate sideways same like we're doing right now over on bitcoin maybe also with some bigger pullbacks but after all then i'm expecting also here for ethereum continuation to the 
upside because this 1.618 Fibonacci extension level based from the last all-time high of $1,430 and the bottom here at around $80 is also coinciding with the same Fibonacci extension level that Bitcoin has at $62,000 when we started this huge consolidation phase over on Bitcoin and I'm expecting something similar to happen also for Ethereum. At least this is my theory that Ethereum will catch up with the Bitcoin Fibonacci extension level and that would bring Ethereum Ethereum up here to $8,650 before we're gonna start maybe to go sideways similar like now over on Bitcoin or maybe even have some bigger correction before then we continue to push higher because I don't think that that could be a cycle top for Ethereum but at least here I can expect that we will start to go sideways or maybe even lower a bit before we then also take off towards prices way above 10k because as you can see also here the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level for Bitcoin is also at 62k and this is exactly where we are having right now this big consolidation phase before we eventually are pushing higher towards 100k and way higher levels because as I told you my friends I still think that this is not the cycle top and we are still far away from a potential cycle top for this bull run. So I remain still very bullish for both Ethereum and Bitcoin even though we still could get some huge pullbacks on the way to the upside but overall all the charts are looking extremely bullish and there are no signs currently that this is a cycle top. Maybe we are getting some more bigger corrections on the way to the upside but take it always as good buy opportunities because we are still far away from a cycle top in both assets. And if we go now over into the DXY you can also see that we are still below this important support level which now is turning into resistance right here at $90.50. So as long as the DXY is trading below this trend line I expect continuation to the downside towards this $89. Of course we are already very oversold here in the RSI and also in my own indicator so somewhere maybe we could get a breather to the upside but uh, overall the DXY is looking extremely weak right now and if here we're gonna continue to have this free fall down towards $89 and maybe even lower that of course will fire up a lot the crypto and stock market and talking about stock market let's have a look into Nasdaq because Nasdaq currently is getting supported by the 100 daily moving average same like we had over here so as long as we are closing daily candles above the 100 daily moving average we should have in theory a nice bounce here towards the 20 daily again so towards our previous support which now is our new resistance we already have confirmed it but as long as we are able to have those daily closes above the 100 daily moving average and the DXY falling I think that here also we could expect very very soon a nice bounce to the upside also in my own indicator you can see that we could get very soon a buy signal especially if money flow is turning back into positive and RSI is also already in oversold condition so the chances are high that here we could get a nice breather to the upside but if we're gonna have daily closes below the 100 daily moving average then be prepared that we could fall down here towards the next potential support at $12,750 and then also potentially come down to test the 200 daily moving average right here at $12,500 and latest here I'm expecting then a big bounce to the upside for Nasdaq and hopefully also here start to create new all-time highs because as long as the DXY is falling I remain very very bullish for the stock market and also for the crypto market of course but it's going to be very important to see where Nasdaq is going to trade in the next coming days and weeks because if Nasdaq is able to create new all-time highs I'm expecting the same thing to happen here for Bitcoin also very very quickly and the same thing if Nasdaq continues to plunge towards the 200 daily moving average we maybe could see something similar also for Bitcoin that we're gonna have this final last leg down towards 50k before we create here a nice double bottom formation cool off all the indicators and then finally once the hash ribbons is also flashing to buy to then have big explosive moves to the upside towards new all-time highs and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and a big shout out goes to bitscap they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free here you can connect all your exchanges to one plan 
platform you can do arbitrage you can run trading bots on them so definitely go and check it out for me currently it's totally paying out so after your 14 days of trial if it's paying out for you as well you can then easily upgrade to a monthly plan which is only starting by 19 dollars a month so you should get this money very easily and quickly back if you are setting up the trading bots uh, successfully there is also a tutorial popping up at the end of this video and another big shout out of course goes out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our discord community then use the invitation link that you find down below here in the video description once you have clicked on that go to read first click on this thumbs up button and then you have free access to the trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin a small donation is needed so just contact me straight here on discord otherwise just get a youtube membership because here there is also a live stream only for members which is giving you those buy signals and sell signals for bitcoin so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye